I'm an astrophotographer and I've always, as long as I can remember, been interested in astronomy and space and the night sky. I've always felt an affinity for the sky and seeing the stars and being under the darkness. Galaxy on Glass is a unique and really high quality collection of images taken of deep space by me here at Astrocamp. And it's turned into beautiful wall art, but I didn't want to do something that was ordinary. I wanted to do something that was really special and extremely high quality. So this is the telescope that I use for capturing all the images for the Galaxy on Glass art. It's extremely high quality optics, which means I can really capture superb images and photographs for the art. I'll be photographing something that's over two and a half million light years away. Now when the light left that object to travel all the way through space and through our atmosphere and finally to my telescope, the Himalayas were still being raised and the North Sea didn't even exist. So you're looking back in time when you see an object like that. The first stage is to decide what to photograph. And I think the overriding criteria is that it should be something that's going to look beautiful on someone's wall. It's going to look interesting, it's going to have a lot of intricate detail. So that's the, the main factor. Astrophotography is different from general photography that you would take um, outdoors during the day because the objects that are taken are a long way away and extremely faint. So you need, um, rather than a shutter speed of a fraction of a second, or maybe one second, I actually need 20, 30 or 40 hours. So the whole process is very different and takes many weeks to get the picture that you want. So over many nights I will build up the data in the different filters that I require to create the final colour image. When I've finally finished gathering all the data, I'll take the decision it's now time to process the work and I'm working on one here now. But it's just raw data. It doesn't look good, but I know that buried inside that data are some wonderful elements of this particular picture. And the work and the skill of it really is to extract that data and make it into a beautiful photograph. Galaxy on Glass wall art is a mixture of art, technology and science. It's where they all coalesce. So technology and science is used to really capture these deep space objects. And unquestionably art is used and creativity to get the final result. The art that I produce is produced in two ways. One is on frameless acrylic, which really looks punchy and brings out the detail of the beautiful nebula or galaxies. And the other um, range is also on acrylic, but it's framed and backlit. So there's LED light panels built into the back which give a really beautiful, stunning view as the lights drop in a room. When somebody purchases a piece of this art, they should have something that really looks beautiful on the wall and something that really intrigues them. But what is also important is the story behind that piece of art. Not just how it was created, but what it is. Is it a nebulae? Is it a star-forming region? Has the light taken millions of years to reach the camera? 
All these things go into adding to what Galaxy on Glass really is.